What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Measy Show. I'm your host with the most. Now, before we begin, please, before we begin, hit that subscribe and that like button for me. Let me know that you are a citizen, a trooper, a real supporter of my channel. In addition to that, if you could hit the post notification bell, that way anytime I drop something new, something trendy, something that may pique your interest, you will be one of the first ones to view it. Now, let's get into this, right? So, apparently... Uh, Hurricane Chris came out and uh, apologized in, in one way or another to 50 Cent about this rant and rave about Shreveport and come to my city, don't pay nobody, and his whole little theatrics that he did. So he came out and apologized. So he went on a platform, a guy, I think it goes by uh, Cliff TV or something, had him on there, um, and then this girl interviewed him, just basically backpedaling and not standing on anything that he said. Um, so that's the whole point like a, a man is supposed to be less emotional and not like you know what i'm saying but we'll we'll, we'll check out the video and we'll go ahead and peek in and out periodically so let's check it out some of your claims that you made in your video that's pretty much gone viral now uh, kind of starting off i know in your video uh, you made some allegations against the human harmony festival hosted by 50 cent uh, stating that 50 cent is taking advantage of the city and uh putting not putting any money into louisiana artists so what did you mean exactly by that um first off let's let's start off by saying that it's no hate for 50 cent the Human Harmony Fest, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad 50 Cent came to Shreveport. Um, let's start off with that. But where he went wrong in the beginning, I'm going to take this all the way back to the beginning. When he originally came to Shreveport, the first thing he started to voice was, no more ratchet. We're getting the ratchet out of here. This ain't Ratchet City anymore. And me as Hurricane Chris and an artist, if you know anything about the Shreveport history, you know we call ourselves Ratchet City. And when a person say that, they don't mean that this is a dirty, nasty place. When they leave Shreveport and they say Ratchet City, they they. Let's be clear, it, it's pretty bad over there. Like we're not gonna act like it's uh, you know, Melrose or something. No, it, it, it's pretty bad over there. Let's let's not say uh, yeah. And then the way it got its name, I'm pretty sure you know. So it, let's not say it's the dirty. No, it's bad saying that because that is the way we identify that is the way we make our music that has become a part of our culture so we can accept it as more than just something ghetto trashy thing that we need to do away with because we built it up and artists begin to name themselves ratchet we have an artist late and great that died by the name of ratchet life and he had to sit in his hands so it was a great disrespect for you to come into the city and say we're getting a ratchet out of the city we have people under this ground buried that have that attached to their name and their legacy i would you couldn't go to new york and say this ain't the big apple you couldn't go to new orleans and say we're not naming this the big easy we we taking the big easy out of this you couldn't go to dallas and say we're not calling this d-town anymore and i just want to sit down with 50 and hopefully have a conversation to let them know that the words that you were downplaying were more than just a word it's actually so you you want to sit down with them you should have done that in the first place and i know that i watched this already before but i know that uh prior to this thing this video prior to you posting you suppose he i guess you dm'd him and he didn't answer bro you i understand i totally understand like well i don't understand the degree that you did it but i understand uh you know the pride that you have for your city you also need to keep in mind this is a busy man he hits you up or you hit him up about oh the, we got to sit down bro no disrespect to you, uh, Mr. Hurricane, but uh, you got like 245,000 subs on YouTube. There's like underground barrier rappers that have like quadruple what you have. You, maybe he doesn't have time. And now you probably blew it because you're over here doing all these rants and raves and then double back and apologize. No, you need to stand on what you say. Our culture and something that we have grown to be proud of. It may have started somewhere in an urban area in our community, but it, 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 it did going to be something that even a college girl who left and went to, 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 to Alabama could say, we're from Ratchet City. It was a way to identify. It was a fun thing as well. 
we made music to it. It's our style of music as well. So I think we, 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 we really just need to sit down. And I think the people that 50 is around may not be leading him into the right direction of knowing our, our culture. And so when I complained about no artists performing, what I meant was no artists performing and got paid. If this is your city, which you say, you want to come here and tell us what to call it and then you want to say, this is my city. I'm cool. You can say this is your city. We, it's all of our city. We welcome you. We welcome you to come here and be with us. And, and, it's, and, and, we, and, and this is all of ours. And the, the people, the community, you know, um, we, we're welcoming people. We, 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 we love to see things like this happen. But you have to pay attention to the culture and you can't just be disrespectful. So what I meant was after that, I also see you not put any artists from the city on the big stage. Okay. Who is really from your city that's famous? We're not talking about uh, maybe their hood, their district, their uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. Knows them. No, who is, on, who is on a national uh, stage that's from your city beside you? And even you haven't been there in quite some time. And no disrespect to you. You you got some cool little. I, I used to like a few of your uh, the Halle Berry, Halle Berry, and then that. Uh, it's so hot up in the club. I ain't got no shoes on. That's all that. That's I like that. You dig what I'm saying? The bang. I like that. But you, due to whatever unfortunate events, that your career kind of wasn't what it was. And I understand you cut a case, and I, and I, I you have my, you have my um. My condolences for for it not being like I'm not making fun of you about that, right? I am making fun of you for sure, but I'm not making fun of you about that. What I am making fun of you about is that you expect this man, who is an international, worldwide, multi platinum, I don't even, or maybe even diamond at this point, celebrity. You want him to get somebody on the stage, pick somebody, bro. It's two hundred thousand people. And that's not an international rapper. Of course, there was nobody from uh, Shreveport, Louisiana on it. Who are they going to get? And you ruined your chance. He probably would have called you, to be honest. You're the only one I know from there. You dig what I'm saying? That far as on a, a national level, you're. and I listen to a lot of underground. Even underground, you, you're not even like, you dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, there, who's he going to call? Let's just be honest, man. There's nobody. A lot of artists perform, but they perform for free. The Shreveport artists that perform had to perform for free under a bridge, not even in the big stage arena. And what I was, what I would like to show him is that we do have artists by the name of Be Will. We do have artists by the name of Doo Wop, Green Eyes. We do have. Okay, and all these people, I get it. They're famous to you in your town, bro. This is a small, no disrespect, once again. Uh, and I know they with all the business out there, but. Shreveport is a, a, a couple hundred thousand people, bro. It's a speck on the map in, 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 on the uh, northern north northwest Louisiana. Like, it's New Orleans is only like not even like, not even a million people, and p people know about New Orleans only because baby and all that. Nobody shed that light. So, what do you want him to do? You want him to pay people who are not famous to perform? That doesn't make any sense. You, you are aware that sometimes up and coming artists, and you should know this, but it, just in case you don't, you are aware that up and coming artists, what they'll do is they'll pay, they'll actually pay the famous artists to open up for them. You're aware of that, right? So you, just be reasonable in what you're claiming. I don't feel that you're being reasonable in any way, shape, or fashion. Artists, a, a lot of artists, more than that, and I can't even name, that were rock stages like that. It's not about me. My son had a football game in the day, so I couldn't perform. And like I said, it's no there. malice. Like it's, it's no malice. It's, it's no hate. It's all love. But I must voice my opinion because I've been here and I've been in Shreveport and I know the history of my place and I know how important the history is. And I cannot allow the history to be erased. We built something and we want to continue to build on top of it and make it greater. But we always want to remember. Thank you for sharing that. That kind of provides some more context. I know in your video you seemed uh, pretty upset, you know, and a lot of people... I woke up early and I ain't had no coffee yet. <laughs> no coffee yet. <laughs> no. no coffee yet. I, I mean, I just, I think, I, I think, I just, I just, I was a little too raw, but I mean, this is, this is where I was coming from with the, with the whole thing. Like, it's, this is my perspective and this is exactly how I feel about it. If this is your city and you're going to book a big concert in your city, you're going to make sure that some of the artists from your city can get paid. Uh, it may not be and I'm sure they will at one point in time. He's not he doesn't owe you just to come. It it doesn't work that way. You're 
I, I get it. They're totally with the shit in your town. They're they're drilling people. They're, like I get that part. Okay. So when you're 50 cent and you're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, you're going to hire you about 10, 15 security guards to escort you through with the uh, damn G, whatever you were riding in with the bulletproof windows, bulletproof doors. You're going to ride through. You're going to go to your, like, our, however many acres it is that you bought that your studios that's gated. And, and you don't have a, you don't even have a shot at them. Why would you? You get what I'm saying? So, like, you just something. You just not making no sense, bro. I feel like you just kind of want the the a little bit of recognition at this point. All of them, but you gotta make sure that. So it's ways we do things around here, and we actually have something to say. And we got a lot of artists in Shreveport that's super hot and ready to move. And that's 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 all I'm standing up for is Ratchet City, forever Ratchet City. That's who we are. That's what it is. And we building and we becoming greater. And I appreciate everybody who helping that. Um, another thing from your video, another thing that you kind of just touched on there was Louisiana artists. You said a lot, Louisiana legends. Who exactly would you want to see? Because I know that uh, Fredo Bang was there, Master P, I believe. I didn't mean Louisiana legends. What I really meant was Shreveport people. Okay, so just for the record, you said Louisiana many times. So stand on what you say, bro. It's Shreveport. He's saying Shreveport is his city. So we can take the whole state out of this. This was more about the city. Shreveport is what's giving you your foundation right now. So let's give back to the city. And I know you're giving back in a lot of different ways, and I appreciate that. But it's artists. And if you're doing a big concert with a lot of artists and this is your city, put some of the artists from your city on the main stage. That's all I'm saying. I didn't mean the whole state. Okay. Thank you for clarifying that. And then um, one of the last things I believe in the video, in case I missed anything you want to share, uh, you talked about, you, you seemed a little bit upset about the half a million dollars towards the police uh, for security. And you I was saying, not upset towards that. I, I, we need to be safe. I 100% uh, agree. You were upset towards that and you voiced it for about a good five minutes. You were definitely upset. But check this out. This man is a, like, he's a super celebrity, right? He got all kinds of stuff going on. You think that he does the does the does uh, any of these known artists that you know walk around with no scare? No, you know what I'm saying. And this is an event that anybody's welcome or whatever. Then yeah, of course he's gonna have uh, uh, whoever come through. To you get what I'm saying? And not to mention all, regardless of what you like the police, you don't like the police. I don't care for the police. But at the end of the day, when they're paid, and then the they're citizens of the town, they pay, and, and it all trickles down, you know, to your local community. So you did. So far, I haven't really heard you, like, stand on anything that you said whatsoever. We're spending the money on safety so the community can be safe. That's money well spent. I, at the end of the day, I think my, my, my I was just frustrated with the fact that none of the artists that i seen put in a lot of work in that city got paid to be on that stage. And that's, that's, and I, I saw a lot of people, if this your city, you're going to bring a lot of out-of-towners and pay them and not pay nobody from your city or let at least let them hit that big stage. Right. So that's why he need to get around people who know the culture and know the history. Nobody's of famous. They can show them a little better. And I'm willing to do that. I'm the guy. That was kind of leading into my next question here. One second, Gary. Um, so G-Unit officials are... Down. Oh. Hold on. One, one second. Okay. Down. Down. Set. Okay. Um, so, yes, next thing that we're going to discuss, G-Unit officials are saying that 50 Cent is preparing to host another Human Harmony Festival in the future, and then his G-Dome that we saw is going to be permanent in downtown Shreveport. So are you willing to uh, reconcile with 50 Cent and work with him in the future? Yeah, bro, I'm willing to. It's understanding, and we actually need to sit down. Like, as he, he a dude that, that's from urban community, so I think he understand, um what I just said very well. I couldn't go to his community and rename it and and without knowing that it was significance to the names that I was saying that we taking out of here. Um a lot of disrespect has happened and um and I and I'm willing to sit down and we fix everything. I'm I'm I am i am i am i am willing to sit down and talk and peaceful and, and just, you know, go have some drinks or have something to eat. Or maybe I can take you to my grandma's house and, you know, let her give you some real soul food, you know. It's a big community. Let's get out here and... and, and, and. Uh, boy, has your tone changed. Come on, man. This is part of being like... 
you got to stand on what you say, and if you're wrong, then you apologize. But this, uh, see, all the, all this is, I'm going to tell you what he's going to do. You apologizing, hoping maybe you could clear this up and get a shot. I'll tell you what 50's going to do. 50's going to just use this and laugh at you, right? And then in addition to that, he'll probably mess around and sign one of your enemies from your town. That's exactly what it's probably going to be. He's going to mess around and do some sort of business with one of your enemies and make you look even worse. I totally understand you want a little recognition. But you, if I'm being honest, you would have been the only one that got invited and you didn't get invited just because for whatever reason. Come on, man. Venture it and, and let's see how we can change the youth and how, see how we can lead the youth into into doing better things. The nonviolent aspect of life. Let's let's see what we can do. I got a nonprofit loyal foundation leading our youth their life. And it's, it's really about the, the younger generation and, and, and helping lead them and get them a future. So... I'm 100% for reconciling, sitting down. And even though he made a bunch of funny jokes on Instagram, you know, um, he made a bunch of funny jokes, you know. Uh, I could I could stand up under that pressure. You know, it's all good. <laughs> but I'm always willing to sit down. All right. Is there anything else that I, that we didn't ask for? I'm willing, I'm, I'm willing to sit down because I'm proud of what's happening. Like, in 2007, I got a record deal. I brought a record label to Shreveport. That record label is the same people that I introduced the people to do business with, and they were able to bring 50 Cent to Shreveport. So I shined a light on Shreveport in 2007, and this is the after effect of me shining a light on my city. So you know I'm going to be proud of this. I'm proud, and I can't wait for the next Human Harmony Fest. Shreveport, let's get it. And um, I guess lastly, just to be clear, you, you said that the video had no malice intent. You didn't mean it with any bad intentions. You were just concerned. No, I, did, I, I definitely had no malice. It was, just, it was just me wanting to see my community be respected. I had already seen him step into the community and disrespect the culture and the names that we call our, our music and, and our city. And then after that, I saw him follow up with not including none of those people in that big arena on that big stage or to get paid you know so i just wanted to stand up for my people you know what this reminds me of right i'll tell you what this reminds me of anybody ever been in jail or the pen and then everybody's just doing their regular their regular uh time you know their regular whatever they're every day doing somebody comes in we got a little notoriety he got a little paper he's known for doing something he got a hold he got this he got that right and everybody that's kind of like you know impressed by that type of thing they start crowding around him Hey, hey, what's up, big bro? Yeah, yeah, you remember that time? Yeah, right? And then there's always that guy in the back who's like, I mean, everybody riding his name. He is sucking anyway. I don't know why he... That's exactly what he remind me of right now. He's just like a little jealous, like, it's kind of just feminine what he's doing right now, if I'm being honest. Well, and, you know, just, it, it, it came out because I woke up in a, in a different type of mode and I may have, you know, I was, I, was, I was in one of those modes. So, you know, sometimes stuff come out spicy. Forgive me for that, but, you know, I'm really a peaceful guy, and I just want all my people to win. I've been supporting Shreveport, Louisiana, my whole life. At the early age, I, I, I got on, and it was something that I always wanted to do, was just represent Ratchet City and Shreveport. To see what's happening right now and to know that it's a, it's, it's, it's an after effect of me shining a light on Shreveport, for me to be able to lead a record label to Shreveport, and for them to be able to look around and me to introduce them to business partners and for them to say, hmm, let me go get 50 cent. Like, I feel like that's a big accomplishment for my city. And when you made that video, I'm, I'm assuming you did not expect it to go viral and get the attention that it did. Were you expecting that? Nah, I, nah, I wasn't expecting it to go viral. I just really was just, I think I just was just waking up without um, no filter and just voicing my opinion. And it just came out spicy. My opinion. He's stressed. I'm going to show you why. I actually had He's stressed about that career. I DM'd him and told him, hey, it's a few things we might need to sit down about. Um, you know, the stuff that you're saying, we're getting rid of these names and we ain't calling the city. This so you see that section right there? Record labels and everything that you um, that you actually, you know, speaking this down. This is what he's thinking. It. And I never got a response. So I guess it just got to the point where I'm like, you know, today I'm just going to but it's all up. See that line going back? And, and when I'm going to look just like me I'm, in a I'm, couple I'm, years, I'm, bro. I'm hoping that we can, you know, <laughs> oh, no. handshake, hug, sit down and have something to eat and figure this out and move for the betterment of Shreveport, Louisiana. Because Shreveport moving up. All right. Is there anything else I didn't ask you? I'm going to end the recording here if, if there's nothing else.
Um, I think we touched on everything. Okay, I'm gonna end that. Yeah, yeah, I pretty. You, you guys. So that's what he had to say, man. I'm, I'm not impressed uh, because I feel like you, if you're gonna say something, then you should stand on it. And even though time passed, it's been like a period of like two or three days. I made a video about the actual reaction. So, like, I just feel like overall, like, you're not standing on what you were so upset about. And it's just a period of days. 50's a troll, bro. He's going to make you look foolish for this. Well, you would have been better off just saying, you know what, bro, it's all good. I'm going to just go ahead and stand on this. And you know what I'm saying? You didn't, you just, now you're doubling back. And you should have just went and did the interview. They called you for the interview. And, you know, put it out there and just say, hey, look, check it out. I stand on what I say. You didn't do that. You, you, you latching on to, you really, you want a string of that success. You want just, just a glitter of that success is really what it boils down to. You, you, but I, you kind of blew it at this point. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a, this is a, watch, I'm going to just show you some watch. So allegedly, according to Google, 50 cents worth what? $40 million in 2024, right? And 800 United States dollars. Right here, this is the median income in, in Shreveport, Louisiana. 26,800 bucks. Bro, that's not even like, not that's barely over $2,000 a month, bro. So, for someone with $40 million to come in, now watch this. But real quick, with someone with $40 million to come in and spend some money and open up businesses and create uh, uh, some sort of studio and or jobs and this and that in your community while people are busy making $26,800 a year? Come on, bro. So right here, the population in 2022 was 186,183. Employed population in 2022. So less than half of the people are employed, bro. You think he's not going to come through, create a whole bunch of jobs, Come on, man. You, you're you're holding up your own city's progress. So if it's really about Shreveport that you're concerned with, then why? Are, so the combined combined household income is 45k, right? Come on, bro. You, you just you're looking just extremely foolish at this point. Port is a great thing that's happening. Everybody else thinks From it's great. From the film industry to people in business, people are feeling optimistic that this will bring jobs and boost the economy. Wade Marshall who used to run Millennium Studios told me he thinks this transformation is something that's very doable. This is going to be something that's going to change the landscape, really, of Shreveport into an uh, entertainment mecca is what they really want it uh, to end up being. And I think we're headed that way with all the plans and, and things that uh, they're offering. A board member with the Shreveport Bossier African American Chamber of Commerce said this is a great thing happening and can be inspiring for business owners. 50 Cent has different operations. He has uh, music, he has television. So there's going to be a wide range of opportunities for folks to apply for those jobs. Beyond Hella jobs. So he's creating. And so as you see him right here, I want to, uh, I think it said something about. Was that the last page? Basically, Nor uh, Shreveport is like 58%, 56% black. You know how many black jobs that is? It, and you worried about your feelings. On G Unit Studios, 50 Cent said he's interested in investing in Shreveport's nightlife. I think he's very interested in the downtown area, and I think that some of his ideas are transformative for downtown. So I look forward to working with him on some of those ideas and seeing what it is that the city can do to help him bring his ideas about. Marshall brought up this making Shreveport a tourist destination. And the city is 100% uh, behind all of this, you know, expansion. Except for like Hurricane Chris. Toward a new Shreveport that we've never seen before. Chris Lyon, who is a filmmaker in the city, said Shreveport has a long history of being an entertainment hub. What's really great is always seeing someone else believe in us and want to invest in this community. But so much of that talent, everything that makes that a success is already here. Lyon said this is special to... So that's what it is. The possibilities that he can bring will only be positive. So in a nutshell, Hurricane Chris, bro, just go sit down. It's too late for you at this point. I'm pretty sure that you ruined it with him. I feel that he will create a lot of good jobs, a lot of good opportunities, a lot of black jobs for black Americans, right? And create opportunity, create ownership, create a lot of things. And you over here worried about your feelings. That's what I got. I, I just, I'm just not pleased with what you're doing. And I'm a little bit more disappointed that you're not really standing on it. That's what I got. You let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you guys for watching. Until next time, man. Thank you for watching the Measy Show. If you have not already, please hit that like, subscribe, and comment. Salute. Good afternoon.